that's interesting. <laughs> hello, hello. It's, oh, that's awful. Oh, get that off the screen. <laughs> hello, hello. It's Helen Martin here from HelenMartinOnline.com. How are you? I'm just testing out new filters on Facebook Live. Aren't they cool? It's good to bring a smile to your face and just do something completely crazy. Okay, I am here today to talk to you about procrastination, which is exactly what I'm doing now. How many, so the question at the top, how many hours a day do you waste procrastinating? Are you one of those people that, you know, puts off, that's terrible, isn't it? Puts off, you know, doing certain things. I'm going to have to get rid of this. Oh, that's, that is awful. Hang on, let's find something a little bit user friendly. How about some trees and flowers and all the rest of it? That's a little bit better. <laughs> okay, welcome. So we're talking about procrastination today. You're probably going to ask, well, why? Because if you've not listened to um, a live of mine before, welcome. Um, it is Helen here from HelenMartinOnline.com. And once a week I jump on and talk about something to do with, you know, a mindset topic, something that helps us move through life, um, you know, a little bit easier and a little bit better to achieve our goals and get to where we want to go. Because I can teach you all the skills under the sun with, um, you know, building a business online, which is what I'm here to do. I help home-based business um, owners build a business online and teach them the various skills but depending on what's going on up here between your two little ears um, you know regarding belief or um, you know lack of belief um, you know not liking the person that you are um, you know those those kind of things procrastinating is one of those uh, the lack of taking action to get things done to build your business to be the person that you really truly want to be then um, you know nothing else sort of matters so once a week I jump on I'll do training all the rest of the week but once a week I jump on and talk about some kind of sort of mindset topic just to help you um, you know be a better person and equip you with the tools that you need to um, sort of be the person that you need to be to have the business that you sort of want to have so if you are jumping on with me live, say hello to me, send me likes and loves and comment in below where you're coming in from. Or if you are watching the replay at some stage, just put the word replay um, you know, down below so I can say hello to you afterwards. So I am talking about procrastination today. How many hours a day do you think you procrastinate? How often do you scroll through your Facebook feed? How much time do you waste scrolling through your Facebook feed when you know you should be getting other jobs done or doing different things? Um, so procrastination can um, be hours. Now you imagine if you procrastinate like a couple of times or well, a couple of hours a day, what that is going to lead to over a lifetime, like a lot of hours of wasted time. So I just want to give you three cool tips to help you um, be more productive, knock procrastination on the head and, you know, take more action, sort of overcome this procrastination and, um, you know, get, get more shit done, basically. <laughs> That's what it's all about because we waste a hell of a lot of time doing all the things that we're not meant to be doing, avoiding the things that we should be doing which is not really helpful to us in you know, being really productive in our business or getting the things that we want out of life. So number one, I've got some notes here because I wrote down sort of what I was thinking and I don't want to miss any of that. So number one is really trying to understand what is procrastination? Like really understanding why do we procrastinate? What is it and why do we do it? So the important thing to sort of... Um, you know, know is that procrastination is really just our inherent way of protecting ourselves from something that we perceive is fearful, difficult, an obstacle. So um, procrastination is 100% linked to emotions. So let's say you've got to do something and it seems bigger than Ben-Hur. So the emotion that you have wrapped up in that is... Um, it's difficult, 
it's challenging, I'm not sure how I'm going to achieve it, I don't really know how to approach it, there's things I've got to do that I don't really want to do. So there, it conjures up negative emotions. Now when we conjure up negative emotions, this is when we develop really bad habits. So we'll do anything but what it is that we really need to do. So negative, emo negative habits, um, when you're feeling a negative emotion, might be something like, instead of doing what you need to do, you pick up your phone and you start scrolling through Facebook. Or instead of, um, you know, you're feeling bad, you're feeling down, you're feeling a little bit negative. So you go to chocolate or you go to ice cream. Um, you know, those kind of things. Send me some likes and loves if that's something that you've done before. Um, you know, when we sit in negative emotion, that's when we develop bad habits. Why we develop the bad habits is inherently to protect ourselves from fear, from difficulty, from, from challenges, those kind of things. And what that leads to is procrastinating. You just don't do the things that you, you should be doing. And you go and do all the things that you shouldn't be doing to avoid the things that you should be doing. So it's really important to overcome and smash procrastination on the head and actually um, get stuff done. You've got to understand what procrastination actually is. So just to sort of recap, it's all tied to our emotions. That's why we procrastinate. So if you perceive something to be difficult, to be hard, to be a challenge, to be um, something that's going to, um, you know, you got fear, you might get rejected by doing something, you might think you're not going to do something right, you know, those kind of things. That's all tied up with difficulty and challenge and negative emotions. So when you feel that, you do everything but moving past that emotion and you procrastinate. You scroll through Facebook, you eat chocolate, you know, when you know you need to exercise, you know, you um, turn on the TV. You look at your emails and, and you know, do, do all those things. So that's the first sort of point to it is really understanding what procrastination is. It's your inherent way of protecting yourself from fear. It's your inherent way of protecting yourself from a challenge or difficulty. So you've got to understand that. You've, the only way that you're going to become a better action taker and do the things you know you should be doing and you're not doing them is to understand that it's your human nature to procrastinate. It's, it's just life to um, protect yourself from things that are uncomfortable. So that's why we procrastinate. So just have a really good understanding of that and sort of why you do it. So the only way you can ever overcome something, the only way you can ever do something better is to understand it. So that's sort of the the um, the understanding of what procrastination is. So now the second thing is how do you manage it? What do you do about it? So there's procrastination here and then there's you and this is what happens in reality. You butt your head against procrastination and that's just not going to work. But this is what we do. How much of a vicious cycle is it that you have a, a to-do list? I still do this. I have a to-do list at the beginning of the day and I get to the end of the day and only a third of them, not even half of them, are ticked off. Um, you know, do you have days like that where you really want to achieve, um, you know, all these things and you get to the end of the day and you're like, where the hell did the day go? I haven't achieved anything you want to. If you can resonate with that, drop the number one below and let me know. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels like that. So largely an amount uh, why that happens is where we're not good action takers. We don't know how to manage our time properly. We don't set goal tasks and deadlines properly and we procrastinate. So, um, you know, it's really important to sort of have a really good awareness of that because to be a really good action taker and get results in your business and even in life, like exercise when you don't want to and take the action that you know you should take when you really don't want to. Um, you know, you, you, as I said before, you are inherently going to protect yourself from things that are difficult or what you perceive to be a, as negative. So we need to manage procrastination. Now, how the hell do we do that? So as I explained before, the reason why we procrastinate is because we th see things as a challenge or difficult. So when we see things that are challenging or difficulty and we're procrastinating, how do we manage that? So you need to minimize what you see as difficult. 
You need to minimize what you see as a challenge. So you've got this thing that you need to achieve here. So it's difficult and it's challenging and the reason why you procrastinate is because exactly that. It's difficult and challenging. So how do you make that thing not as difficult as in cha and challenging? So to manage that procrastination around that, you need to break it up into things that you don't see as being difficult or challenging. So this is all about making a big thing that you think is difficult and challenging into little bite-sized things that are not difficult and challenging. Let me give you an, a couple of examples of that. Say you want to, like um, just in an ev any everyday life thing, you want to lose weight. So your goal is that you want to lose 5 to 10 kilos, let's say. So that's a big goal that is going to be difficult and challenging. So you procrastinate and you wake up in the morning and, oh, it's cold, oh, I'm tired, oh, I can't be bothered, oh, I'm just going to lay here for 10 more minutes and then 20 minutes later, oh, God, I've got to go to work now, I haven't got time to exercise. You procrastinate because it's a big, difficult and challenging goal. Whereas if you break it down to things that take 30 or 40 minutes towards the goal, it's not as difficult and as challenging anymore and you just get on and do it because it's, it's, um, it's achievable. So something like exercise, I've set myself a challenge again. Late last year, one of my mentors challenged me to exercise every day for 30 days because I had been complaining about busy, being so busy with my life and my work and everything that I was letting my exercise go again. I was letting my health go because it was all going on you know, work, you know, work and not looking after me. So that was something that she set me and I was accountable to that. Now Christmas has come along, New Year's has come along, school holidays has come along, I've gone away with the family, I've come back, I've gone to Los Angeles, I've come back, same things happened, I've got out of routine. So I've set my own challenge now, I'm on day, I think I did day six this morning or day seven maybe this morning. And so I'm exercising every day for the next 30 days. Now, it's just my challenge to myself. It's just my accountability is I'm posting it on my health page, my health um, Facebook page to make myself sort of accountable to that. But not every day am I going to have time to do lots of exercise. But if I can get up and just stay, like just slip a nighty on or a t-shirt on or something, go out to the land room, pick up some hand weights, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups, do some jumping jacks, do some things and just do that for 15 or 20 minutes, I've done it. So it's not difficult at challenging, it's just I walk from the bedroom to the lounge room, I've got some hand weights and stuff like that, I can, you can do push-ups without any equipment, you can do tricep dips on the back of a chair, like get a chair and do some tricep dips, you can do lots of exercise without any weights or anything like that and just do it for 15 minutes to start with. The hardest part of overcoming procrastination is starting whatever it is that you would, you perceive to be difficult or a challenge. So break it down into bite-sized chunks that you don't see as difficult and challenging and just do it. It's more achievable then. So that's how you manage procrastination. Break it down into things that are manageable in 30 to 40 minute time frames. You're going to do an action, you're going to do it in that time frame and just get it done. So that'll help you move past through um, sort of procrastination. The other thing, the third thing, the last thing, is to master a new mindset um, on taking the action. Now what I mean by that is these um, little tasks that you're going to break down, so you've got your big thing, you're going to break it down into sort of little things, put a deadline to it. So put a deadline to it. So when are you going to do those little things? So this is the big thing I want to achieve, these are the little things I'm going to do along the day, every day, to sort of achieve it. So when am I going to achieve that by? So by Friday, I'm going to achieve this. Put a deadline to it. When you put deadlines to things, it forces you, forces you to prioritize your time, to stop procrastinating and get the stuff done that you need to get done. Does this make sense? If this is making sense, send me some likes and hours some love. So um, deadlines, let's say somebody, you got sick and you had two weeks or two years to live. Somebody told you that. How important would your priority list become? How important would your goals and dreams to become? You'd be going, oh my God, I haven't done this, 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 and this. So this is my list. 
I want to do this, this and this, and I'm going to get that done by then, that done by then, and that done by then. So this is how you've got to treat those big things that you see challenging and difficult. Break them down and put a deadline to them. When you put a deadline to them and have some accountability to that, it forces you to take action so you stop procrastinating. You actually get stuff done. So deadlines is the third one. Force yourself to put deadlines on them and don't make it wishy-washy. Make yourself accountable to that deadline and make it happen. My deadline in, at the moment with this exercise challenge that I'm doing, I have to do it every day. So somewhere in my day, so if I get to 10 o'clock at night and I haven't done it, then I've got to go down to my gym and or run around the house or do something or do some push-ups, sit-ups or whatever it is to get it done because that's my deadline. Every day is my deadline. So set yourself a deadline and you'll end up taking the action and be accountable to that action. So I want to leave you with a quote today. This is a quote by a guy by the name of Mark Burnett and it's really cool because it really puts procrastination um, in the light that it should be. If you want to be certain, you should never get married, you should never change jobs. In fact, you might as well just stay at home because I don't know anybody who is certain. The need to be certain is procrastination. So if you need to be certain about things, if you need to, oh, I won't do that unless I know this, or I won't take that action unless I know the outcome's going to be that. Like if you're looking for certainty in life, you are going to live your life through procrastination. So don't look for certainty. Just get stuff done. And what I said before is manage procrastination. And the reason why, again, that we do it is that we perceive difficulty, we perceive challenges. When we perceive that negative emotion, it's our inherent um, you know, life skill to protect ourselves from that and that's when we procrastinate. So get rid of that. Break down whatever it is that you're trying to achieve into really small chunks to make it manageable in 30, 40 minute time frames, and then put deadlines to it and make sure you get it done. If you do those three things that I've just sort of explained then um, and through this video, you won't procrastinate as much as you do now. You take those actionable items and you'll be more productive. The benefit of being more productive and taking action is you'll actually get stuff done to achieve what you want to achieve. If you really want to grow your business, you've got to take the action to grow your business. If you really want to lose weight, you've got to take the action to lose weight. So don't make it this huge big thing that you've got to achieve. Just make it little tiny things. If all you get to do is 10 or 15 minutes in the morning at night of doing a few sit-ups and push-ups and whatever, fantastic. At least you've elevated your heart rate and you've done something. It all helps. And when you feel better and you're used to it, you will do more of it. It's just starting that's the hard part. So make it easier for yourself and make small, manageable, chunk size activities with deadlines. And you will fight through procrastination. You'll be able to break through it if you put those things in action. Okay, so that's my mindset topic to today. I hope you find that valuable. Some people shut off to this mindset stuff because they don't see it as important. But if you know me or my Facebook lives at all, you know how passionate I am about mindset because nothing else matters unless you've got yourself sorted out. You've got to sort yourself sorted out first before you can learn the skills to you know, really build a really good business. Okay, so the rest of the week, what am I talking about? Back to business for the rest of the week. This is just something I do once a week. Um, so tomorrow I am talking about Facebook group pages versus like a another type of business page where you're branding yourself. So last week I did a live about the difference between using your personal Facebook page or your, um, uh, you know, a business Facebook page. But questions that have come up since that is there's two different types of business pages that we talk about when you build a um, business online. One of those can be group pages and one of those can be like a public page, like a fan page. So they're both referred to as business pages. 
So when I talk about personal page versus business page, some of you are thinking I'm talking about a group page and some of you are thinking that I'm talking about like a fan page. So tomorrow I want to talk about the differences on the business page side of it, of a group page versus like a public page. So that's tomorrow. The next day I want to talk about seven tips to be um, to utilise, to be seen more in the Facebook feed. You would know, hopefully, that there's huge changes to the Facebook algorithm recently and Facebook are just interested in keeping the user experience a pleasant one and they're showing more stuff from their friends and family than they are business. So I just want to go through seven tips where you can get your stuff seen more in the Facebook feed. And then the next day, to finish off the week, um, I want to talk about five common Facebook mistakes that will hurt your business. I'm still seeing these mistakes being made over and over again. Um, so I really want to highlight, um, you know, not to be the negative, but just highlight how to do things better. Uh, five Facebook, um, you know, mistakes that I'm seeing that will hurt your business if you continue to do them. Now, for those of you in my private Facebook group, um, just remember I've got um, the live Q&A on tomorrow. For those of you in my private Facebook group, bring me any questions you want. Branding, lead generation, setting up your page, engagement, content, the Facebook algorithm, making more sales, you know, whatever it is that you want to talk about, bring those questions, um, you know, to that Q&A tomorrow. So for those of you in my private Facebook group, over on the group is the details of the link um, for the call and the times of the call tomorrow, depending on what time zone you're in, um, sort of, etc. So go over there and access that information. If you don't know anything about my private Facebook group, but you want a little bit of information about my private Facebook group, just drop the number three down below and I'll connect with you personally and just tell you what that's all about. So tomorrow, what am I talking about tomorrow? Oh, the Facebook group, so the business pages, group pages versus like a fan page, a self-branded sort of Facebook page. So that's that's what I'll be talking about tomorrow. If anybody has left any kind of comment, I can't see any comments today. Sometimes when I go live, I can. Sometimes I can't. Um, but if you've said anything, um, thank you. It's just that I can't see the comments um, today. So I will see you tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.